A warm welcome to the first chapter of Introduction to Economics. And today we will be talking about the production possibility frontier, um, or what we like to call the PPF. Before we begin, let us try to understand our goals for today. We want to understand the basic economic problem. So this is the key in trying to understand what is the PPF all about. So, in the basic economic problem, there are two aspects to it. So, we are trying to satisfy a limited amount of wants from the society with a limited amount of resources that the society has. So, the two aspects to this is wants as well as resources. So, we are going to analyze this problem using the PPF. So, what is the PPF? Well, the PPF is simply a graph that illustrates various combinations of two goods that we can produce with a fixed amount of resources. We will only be talking about two goods, for example, X and Y, because on a piece of paper, you can only draw two axes, right? So if you go to the right, I'm having more X, going upwards, more Y, and towards the top right-hand corner, I will have more of both. So for the resource part, we are just going to focus on two, which is labor and capital. What's going to cost an economy? Well, we, labor are going to be paid in wages and capital is going to be paid interest. And there's actually two more types of resources in the economic study. Uh, just an introduction, um, the first type is called land, which we pay rent. And the second type is called entrepreneurship, um, which we pay them profits. And uh, for the later part, profits is commonly known as pie. So here's an overview of what we're going to go through today. And uh, just in a moment, we're going to go into the details. In order to illustrate how we are going to construct this PPF, we're going to come up with a very simple scenario. Okay, so the scenario is basically this. There is only one type of resource in this particular economy, and, we'll, and that will be labor, which is a short form called L. And one unit of labor can produce either 1x or 2y. So, let's assume that in total, there are 100 units of labor. Now, this is important. I'm going to summarize my information as such, and I'm going to invert these numbers into an equation. Look, 1x plus half y is less than or equal to 100. Now, this equation here makes total perfect sense. Imagine if we were to produce only x. So, if we produce only x, this is what's going to happen. We're going to take 100 units of labor and multiply them by 1x each. So we're going to get 100x and we're going to get 0y because we didn't produce any of them. So if you're going to plug 100 and 0 into the equation above, you're going to get a total of 100. So as you can see, this is equal to the figure on top given that we maximize our resources, which is labor. So it makes sense. So if we're going to produce only y, what's going to happen is we're going to get 200y because it's, 200, it's 100 times 2 and 0x. So I'm going to plug these figures 0 and 200 into the equation as well. So I'm going to get, again, 100. So given that we maximize our resources, this equation makes sense. It is equal to whatever that we had here. So this equation over here is, is, is very important. Um, you have to write this down in your exam. Every time you encounter a, a question that is in relation to the production possibility and frontier, you have to write that. So what are the next steps? We are going to isolate y on the left-hand side of the entire equation. So we're just going to bring y to the left side, multiply everybody by 2, and we're going to get the following equation. Um, as you can see, this is a linear equation, and this is perfect because we're going to draw this line. So we're going to call this a labor function over here, and we're going to call this the labor constraint. Now remember, write down the labor constraint or any constraint for that matter. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. Simple to understand and captivating, so that you can learn effectively while saving time, realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials and exam solutions in the form of videos which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere.
watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quicket Hours to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for starting with Quickonomics.